What is going on everyone? I wanted to post a really quick video to let you know that they have officially announced that the Final Fantasy Ever Crisis collaboration is going to be uh, with Final Fantasy VI. I uh, predicted this when they did a little teaser. I mean, lots of people would have. It was pretty obvious. Um, but I was actually right on most of the costume collaborations. They put out a tiny teaser video. I wanted to watch it here with you. We'll pause it at a couple of points so we can take a look at things and kind of just comment on it. Um, and it's coming this Wednesday, so uh, October 30th. At, it's 10 p.m. Eastern, I think, so 7 p.m. Uh, PST or whatever. I'm Eastern time, so uh, it's always late for me, but... Whatever, I, I, I love to jump into the new stuff, so um, I'm very excited for this, so let's take a look at the video. Alright. Cloud, Tifa, Aerith, and Sephiroth. All the people we thought would get it. And Kefka, look at that, like, he looks amazing. Uh, first of all, I was hoping that Sephiroth was going to get uh, an outfit for Kefka, but it looks like we're actually going to be fighting him in this, which is really, really cool. So, of course, we're, we've got the collaboration, 7 and 6. I mean, obviously, pairs together so well. Um, now, this is super exciting. Um... Obviously, we just saw in there, and, and as we go through the video, we're going to see that um, Aerith, Cloud, Tifa, and Sephiroth are all getting costumes. I assume they're all paid, um, but I'm pretty, pretty positive that this is Angeal here, uh, which I guess means he's part of the collaboration as well, and he is wearing an outfit that, to me, looks a lot like Cyan's, uh, who I've got pulled up here. Um, so I'm pretty positive that um, he's probably getting a free outfit, which is amazing, because I always love free stuff in it. Um, and it's great that Angeal's getting some love uh, so early on. Uh, I mean, the color scheme, the cape, everything like that looks dead on. So uh, I'm pretty sure that means we're gonna get a free costume for Angeal, which is awesome. Um, and here we go, we've got the first reveal. Aerith wearing Terra's garb. Like, I mean, this just fits so perfectly like i had said in my other video i mean tara already looks so much like Aerith. uh i think this costume just fits and looks perfect um again i mean like even like the hair everything like that's just it's it is too perfect it's so good um so confirmation of that then we've got cloud with Locke's outfit um who we've got pulled up here uh again i mean it's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, it's it's funny that uh, Cloud, who uses a huge sword, keeps getting uh, paired up as people with uh, daggers, but, I mean, you just make the dagger bigger or whatever, and I guess it works. So um, this definitely makes sense for, for Cloud. So very, very cool. Again, looks awesome. And there we get a sneak peek seeing him fighting Kefka himself, uh, which just looks awesome. So, I mean, looks so cool. And here we're getting teasers. We got Sephiroth, we got Tifa, who's going to be shown next. And here we go, we were right. I, I was guessing either uh, Sabin or Celis as the outfit. And uh, I mean, Sabin again makes sense. Uh, we've got him right here. Uh, he's a monk, he fights with his fists just like Tifa. So, I mean, that obviously thematically makes sense. Um, to be honest, I, I wish that they had done a Celis um, outfit for her. But thinking about it, this would probably cause an outrage in the community because I'm, I'm pretty sure that Locke and Celis are actually kind of like a thing in Final Fantasy VI where they end up together. Uh, so having Tifa in that would kind of be shipping them together, which uh, it's always the age old. Is it Aerith? Is it Tifa? Um, I'm not going to weigh in because I have thoughts, but um, I, I don't want to get into all that. Um, but I mean, honestly, I think this looks pretty cool. Like, it, it, it's it's definitely different than his outfit i mean like i mean this is the same color scheme um but uh, obviously they gotta make it work for her um can we also stop and talk about this attack like i mean just go back here like she is doing like a kamehameha and this i am totally here for that that is just so cool <laughs> so definitely an outfit and an attack that i will want to be getting um and then here we go sephiroth um, again, I was hoping that it was going to be Kefka. I was not expecting uh, Edgar. Uh, I mean, again, he does kind of match. It does look good. Um, it, it's, it's. I mean, that one, I think, is the one I'm the least 
excited for, or least impressed for. Uh, the main three, I think, are kind of the ones that that we're all super excited for. So, but here they are, all in their outfits, which is cool. And we got Kefka there, so. Um, I can't wait to find out what the story for this is. I mean, the story is always kind of a letdown with these events because they just magic it away with the portals and whatever. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, look at that. He looks so good. I still think it would have been awesome to have uh, Kefkaroth or whatever you want to call him. But yeah, there you go. October 30th, PDT. I mean, again, so that should be, it's always an update at 7 o'clock PDT, so uh, 10 o'clock Eastern. Um, so, I mean, we really don't even have to wait long. Um, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the data mines, uh, if they are correct, had said that Aerith was going to be on the banner first. Now, they were talking about Aerith actually getting a, uh, an ultimate weapon next. So, an ultimate weapon on the banner. So, I don't know how that's going to work if she's got, like, a new weapon and an ultimate or whatever, but, um, we'll have to find that out, uh, probably on Wednesday itself kind of thing. But yeah, I just wanted to give a quick heads up and a quick look at these. Again, these all look amazing. The the weapons look awesome. The the outfits look really cool. I think they do match. And I mean, this just looks so cool. Like Kamehameha right there for the win. Um, so let me know what you, your thoughts are in the comments down below. Uh, do you think these are uh, great fits or anything? Were you hoping for any other kind of uh, matches or, or characters being used or anything? I know I've seen a lot of people talking that uh, Red, Barrett, and the other like First Soldier people aren't getting enough love, so uh, let me know what you think. And as always, happy gaming.